Saturday. How would you set the first two days of fall camp? First two days of fall camp. <laughs> That's about it. That's all I got to say about it. No. Uh, you know, it, it just, it was amazing to be back out here, to have you guys back out here. Um, you know, a lot of energy. You know, uh, you know, uh, a lot of energy. Yeah. You know, we're getting after it on both sides. I think everybody's excited to put the pads on Monday. You got a little chippy out there. Is that okay in the first That's couple okay. days? That's okay. But we, at the end of the day, uh, self is tough and discipline. That discipline piece is huge. You know what I mean? We, 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 we did a better job with our penalties last year, uh, but we're still nowhere near where we need to be if we're going to be a championship team. So, yeah, we want them getting after each other. I don't mind the physicality. I like the competing, but we also got to be smart. We got to be disciplined, and we can't hurt ourselves. And that has to start in practice. The uh, first couple of days, you got acclimation period, no pads. What can you do with the running backs to try to get them better before pads come on? Well, really, it's operations, you know what I mean? And for us, you know, it, it's making sure that our eyes are in the right place when it comes to protection. And, and, and uh, you know, making sure that we're picking up the blitz and whatnot. Yeah. Protection's a big part of it. I mean, yeah. is that like, you, we don't see it, you know, people, fans don't see it as much. You know, I mean, you're how, one to two. I thought that we made huge strides in, yeah. in that. And now it, it, it's, we can we can be even better, you know. And, and what we need to do is uh, sometimes we, we hung in the backfield a little bit too long, you know what I mean? And that comes from just this lack of confidence, you know. And we study, we get in there. A big part of our offense is spreading, is spreading the ball around and getting the back out and creating proper spacing, you know. Yeah. And that's one of the things that. That, that we can we can do a better job of. There's some of the so times Keaton had to hold the ball on ball last year. You can play that on the back. All right, if they get out, they get out, and they're getting to the numbers and they're, they're spreading the field. Uh, we get a will, a nickel Sam that's reacting faster. That ball's at that kid's hands and he moves faster. So just some of the nuances of the offense that really we talk about year one to year two. You know, um, I look at where we are from spring football to where we are from these first two practices. It is a huge difference. Yeah. And and looking at last year as we came up, not having that spring and that natural development in the system, uh, it was evident. It was probably week four or five. I mean, the season ended yeah. before we were able to really start cleaning some things up. So having spring football was huge, you know, and, and we were seeing that difference uh, in these first two practices in our operations. It's still obviously early, but how do you picture the prospect or the depth chart lining up as oh. far as a 1A, 1B, or true committee? Or you know, we'll, uh, I, I want to establish uh, uh, two guys back there, a 1A and a, and a 1B. You know what I mean? If, if, if there's a third guy out there or even a fourth guy out there that's demanding, uh, that, that proving that he needs to get on the field, then we'll, we'll play that as it goes. But I want these guys to compete. And like I said, last spring, I want, I want two guys to take this job over. Yeah. As far as the guys that have stood out so far, it seemed to us that you know, Ingram has been, in, in, he, he's, he's flashed. Yeah, I, I, his body's so, changed. So his, his body's changed. Kind of, I think, I think Bobby did a really great job with him uh, throughout the spring and throughout the summer. You know, he's down to, I think, they said 80% body fat, you know, and he looked good in the spring, but he, he kind of added a little burst, you know, that, what, what it looks like in these first couple couple days of fall break. And the same with Vi. He looks great, too. Uh, been impressed with the, the, the Barlow kid. I mean, he, uh, he definitely looks the part and, look, and looks like he has an unbelievable first step. So, um, as far as the running backs go, that's it, it, really a tough eval um, uh, without having pads on. It was good to have King and Kristen back out here. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, and, and we'll get out there and we'll take these first 14 days to kind of, uh, I'm going to get them all rotations. Everybody will get some reps with the snaps with the ones. And after that 14 days, we got to probably start to chop it down and be ready to play football with her football season. Speaking of Darwin Barlow, what have you seen from him? So what does he bring to this team? Well, he he's, he's got a unique skill set. You know, he, he you know he's a 215, 220 pound kid, and he has unbelievable burst. He, he, he mean just going back and watching his tape um, from TCU, does a great job of running behind his pads. Uh, um, again, we'll, we'll, we'll put that those pads on Monday, and I think we'll all kind of see what we got. Yeah, he, I mean, he looks like. A legit player out there. Was it unexpected a little bit when you saw him come in? Or? No, I mean, Darwin was somebody I really wanted coming out of high school. Yeah. Uh, and really, to be honest with you, that, at that time, he just wasn't ready to leave home. Yeah. You know, uh, he spent two years at, at the university and, and, and kind of uh, got the confidence that it takes that leap of faith to come on out, come on out here to the Sunshine State. Yeah. And uh, 
you know, he's got four years of eligibility and he's going to be a pretty special player for the Stokes. Yeah. You talked about Ingram changing his body a little bit from the spring. How about Vavai or, or yeah, Vavai, Definitely, Vavai. Vavai looks great. Same, both those guys out. I mean, shout out to our strength that they did an unbelievable job. Uh, Keenan was with the track team all spring. Yeah. So really, uh, this is really, once we coaches got back from vacation, it was really some of the first time I got a chance to be around Keenan, but it, it is a pleasure to have him back. Hey, real quick, man, if you guys don't mind. Yeah. Hey, so I just want to give a shout out to Troy. You know, uh, just what an awesome career he had and, and so happy for him and his family and, uh, you know, uh, fight on. Cool.